Okay, so I thought I'd give you a, a quick uh, update. I haven't done anything around my main pond in a while. I've just been focusing on my uh, koi videos linked to the fry. But um, yeah, the main pond is coming on really, really nicely at the moment. I'm prepping for the koi show, so um, feeding a special diet. But you'll see the, the koi are looking incredibly uh, bulked at the moment. It's kind of part of my my master plan even the toss eye those mid-sized ones are just kind of toss eye that I've bulked up um, the, the red doesn't show so nicely on this uh, Samsung phone unfortunately it, it, it pinks out a bit but uh, yeah hopefully you can see from that the scale of the, the fish and how they're looking um, at the moment I'm feeding a combination of uh, Hikari wheat germ and uh, Hikari color food and that's the first part of my show prep I do that really early about six weeks before the show and I start with uh, well actually I'd start even sooner I start with growth food and then what I do is I cut back on the growth I uh, start adding wheat germ and then slowly start adding color food um, till I reach uh, a, a peak just before the um, just before the, the show um, and then obviously don't feed them for a bit before the show that helps the whites come out um, I'll actually make a video on show prep um, so those of you that are showing can uh, kind of either use what I'm doing or or give me a decent comment in terms of why you think you can do it better or just tell me what I'm missing um, here you can see that's a little um, Tossai Sankey, I call it Tossai, it's possibly about Nissai now almost. Um, I would say it's about 45 centimeters, but a really good fish for the for the koi show. Um, super, super bulk. Um, it's a Sakai female. You would have seen this on previous videos if you've watched my videos before. There she is there in the, in the middle seriously bulked up and looking good getting ready for the show that down there is a, a, a sanky I inherited from a guy in the Koi Society that uh, had uh, passed away and it's actually doing a lot better since it's got here. The colors improved dramatically. The skin quality has improved. Um, it's about, gosh, top end of 80 centimeters, almost 90 centimeters. So really big fish. Most of the fish in here, the bigger ones, are, are sizable. So there's a quite a few fish now over the, the 80 centimeter mark, um, which uh, is, is pretty, pretty rare. That's why even the, the smaller ones on here you know, they look pretty small, but sometimes they, they're a 40, 40, 45 centimeter fish. Uh, some more guys on this side. Some more tossi. I'm still not sure who's going to the show and who's, uh, who's staying at this point. Um, this male kohaku will definitely be going. You can't really see him nicely with the uh, reflection. Can you believe it's a he um, with that kind of... Uh, body shape but uh, yeah it took a uh, superior champion at the last show um, this year I'm expecting it to do better so maybe a first or a second placing in the, the overall stakes of the show it depends what else is at the, the show at the time but a great uh, uh, a great car crew. you can see the bulk on the fish just from the from the extra feeding there's one of the kin kabuto that I'm selling I've actually grown it faster than the ones that I've got in my sales ponds and you can see how nicely it's come on look at the netting um, they truly do get into develop into some really nice uh, nice fish it's my two kindai homebred shower there in the picture male on top female underneath uh, try to spawn in the season didn't work. A 
big uh, Matsuba male. Uh, actually, used to be an Asagi. Came in Matsuba as it lost its uh, um, as it lost its blue. The red took uh, uh, the red took over. Some nice younger Sankeys that have come on quite nicely. I might take one or two of them to the show as well. Of course, transport is a problem. The show that we've got here is about 400 kilometers from us. So I've got to be very careful about what I can and what I can't transport. Um, I'm going to have to get a trailer to actually transport these koi for the show. There's a Maritain that's come on really nicely. That's going to go to the show. Uh, it's cleaned up a lot. Uh, I'm sure this video is not doing it any justice in terms of uh, how it's come on. The white is uh, getting better, but the red is the thing that's made the most, uh, most change. So the pattern is shaped up and a and, uh, little bit of color food, a bit of bulk from the wheat germ. But it's looking in a really good uh, space at the moment for, for showing. Look at that. It's got a bit of a red pick. I think that actually adds to the, the fish rather than uh, detracts from it. So I'm not too worried about that. We'll see how it, uh, how it does. I mean, it's a super, super looking fish. The other one that's uh, good for show is this female here she has got some serious serious bulk um she's about just under 50 centimeters and sorry i'm walking to <laughs> catch up with the fish as it uh, as it swims but um yeah i think this is a good show option if you will recall i made a video a couple of weeks back removing a shimmy came off this fish there's absolutely in fact it was two or three shimmies absolutely no sign that, that fish ever had a shimmy now everything's healed and uh, uh, and sorted so good option for the show in fact lots of different uh, options here he has a nice karashi goi look at these things these are coming on so nicely put them in his tossai you guys who live in uh, south africa would have had options on some of these karashi goys when they came in and in fact i'm releasing about 50 really good baby karashi goys today for sale Jinrins and uh, normal Karashis, but look at the bulk on that, huge bulk. Uh, the other one is there, it's a bit like the, the hunchback of uh, Notre Dame. Look at the bulk, <laughs> look at the hump on the back of that one, that's insane. Um, but yeah, they, they become big fish and they, they are bulky, not much you can, can do about it, and they eat like crazy. So yeah, so if you want a really good Karashi Goy, there's some nice ones. Um, being released into the sales ponds uh, today um, but yeah fish looking really good there's my my prize kohaku that uh, is going to the show there's the daddy sankey that uh, spawned the babies uh, I think it must be one of the biggest sankeys in uh, Cape Town I don't know how many how often you get a sankey that's 80 centimeters I mean that's insane um, but looking really, really, really good. Nice little soggy that's grown on. You see it's swimming away. The color's not exact. Uh, you know, the red comes out a bit pinkish. The that fish I'm focusing on in the middle looks a bit yellow. It's actually a white fish. That's a Yamabuki Ogon. Uh, metallic. It looks a hell of a lot brighter than it than it actually is in uh, in the pond. But that's a 80 centimeter fish. Nice little Maritain there at the back as well. Um, unfortunately, she's got secondary he. So I'm not going to send it to the show. Look at the the he in the, the break between the two steps um, let's see if she she manages to lose it I found with uh, this line that I've got and some of the other toss eyes they've actually lost the the red as they've uh, as they've gone uh, which has been a good thing but there's some nice fish in here nice fish for the show there's the Maritain again uh, another Kwaku I haven't spoken about that's also going to the show it always takes prizes at the um, at the show those are the newbies that are going to Sankey's. So let's see, interesting mix. It's a nice little baby there that could compete for baby grand. 
Uh, very, very nice sankey. Very finished as well, which is exactly what you want. I'm talking about the little one uh, in the middle. Okay, so that's it. That's about it. That's uh, what my pond is looking like at the moment. Um, yeah, and I'll post uh, I'll post some more uh, videos pretty soon. Thanks for thanks for watching.